And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Taco Takeover. A game that comes with actual taco shells. Well, not actual taco shells. Um, but as we all know, and it's universally agreed upon, that taco is one of the greatest foods ever designed. The idea of putting the, a bunch of food in a crunchy shell is just mm, very delicious and terrific and wonderful, and they should be eaten all the time. Uh, but whether you agree with that or not, the idea of a game about building tacos, I think, sounds interesting. This is obviously a game for kids, a speed style game. Let's take a look. At the beginning of the game, you're going to have all these taco cards all over the table, scattered around and mixed up, and each player is going to be given a taco shell. Technically, the game says you can play with more than four players and you just use your hand instead of a taco shell, but come on now, who does not want a crunchy taco shell? Everyone's going to get an order card put face up in front of them. So, for example, well, they're going to be face down and then we'll say, uno, dos, tres, turn them over. And so for to make this taco, I need chicken, tomato, rice, and guacamole. So as soon as we do this, we're going to turn them over and we're going to race and basically find things all at the same time. Oh, I need tomatoes. So I just put the tomatoes in my thing here. What else am I looking for? Chicken, rice, and guacamole. Oh, well, there's chicken. Okay, and well, no, 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 no. Lots of jalapenos and lettuce, hot sauce. Oh, loco. Loco is a wild card. So that can count as one of my things. So now I need rice or guacamole. Boom. And now I shout ole. I show everyone, I got my rice, loco, I don't know what that stands for. Instead of having some guacamole, I just had some loco sauce and some chicken and tomato. All right. And then I finished this order. And then we, everyone gives their orders back. We shuffle them up and do them again. So the orders can be beef and three cheese, steak, cheese, corn, guacamole. So they're always going to be four or five things, uh, or sometimes even three things. This is a diet one. Uh, so you're looking at these and trying to collect them. So. You know, we can see there's beef out here, there's some beans and cheese. I want double cheese. There's some corn uh, that's, that's out in the combination here. Fish, so you can make a fish taco. Um, steak, let's see what else is out here. Oh no, a cockroach. So if you draw a cockroach, it, every card that you have so far, you have to dump out of the game, or out of the game for that round anyway. And then you get rid of the cockroach too. So cockroaches will hurt you. And to acid, you get one of these, you play it on someone else and they have to do the same thing. They have to dump all their cards out of the game and start over again. So the first person to get three of these order to cards wins the game, although you can play longer if you want to. Okay, so the thing that attracted me to the game, obviously, is the shape of the cards look cool. And I do like how they look. It's a lot of fun to have these cards. And even, you know, I guess if you're not playing the game, your kids could play and make some fun tacos, you know, the, with their play food thing. These shells are really nice. They're, they're a little springy. They're plastic. They're easy to hold your hand and drop the cards in. The card quality is not amazing, and especially with these cards. And I was kind of surprised that there wasn't as many of the order cards. It feels like there should be more of these, especially... Um, but eh, the game also comes with a bag which holds everything, which is good. You can just put everything in this bag and carry the bag around. And I say it's good because the box itself is okay. Um, the box has spots here for the cards, but because of the nature of how the box is, I ended up having to dump it each time just to get the stuff out. And this box itself has the hole in the lid nonsense. So the box is kind of worthless at this point. But uh, still, it has a very bright, colorful, vibrant look. Well, there you have it. That's the game itself. Components, good. Game, it's your typical speed game. Honestly, with some kids, this is what I would do. I take out the antacid cards. I just hide them somewhere. I leave the cockroach cards in because you're like looking around. Oh, I found a cockroach. Got to empty your shell. That's just luck. But the antacid thing can be a little mean, right? Because I have to throw it on, on Johnny. And Johnny hasn't even got a a order card yet. It just feels mean that, that Billy keeps doing that to him when he should be doing it to Susie, who's about to win the game. The game is lucky, obviously, as you flip the cards over and you're looking for them, but it's fast, furious fun. Is it fun for parents? Meh, maybe once or twice. 
a, a, an entertaining game to play with your kids. But kids are going to like it. They're going to like it because of the theme. Because, again, who doesn't like tacos? But they're also going to like it. I mean, it looks, it has this really cool look to it. It's silly. It's fun. Kids like frantically turning over cards. There's really not much different here than many other games where you frantically turn over cards. The only difference here is obviously going to be the components and the theming of the game. And I think that's kind of the selling point of it. So if you like the idea of a food thing, and like I said, you could even double as a toy for kids to play with. And I think this works for elementary style. Kids are going to have fun collecting the taco ingredients. It might even promote a little bit of reading. Uh, I don't know if I'd go that far to say that. But an entertaining game for kids, that is Taco Takeover. Dice Tower Judgment, kid approved.